Okay, so I'm going to walk you through real quick on setting up your timing, basically. So after you have phased your crank trigger and your distributor, roughly around, in this case, this particular unit is 10 degrees. After you've already done that, and you do that with the car not running, you're just basically putting them in line. So as if the motor was running and it fired, and I've loaded a couple of videos of that, you're going to come down here, use the joystick, come down to initial setup, come down to ignition setup. Now, you have ignition setup and idle setup. You're going to set both of those. You're going to do ignition first because ignition will influence the idle setup. So we're going to do ignition. Oh, I need to turn my power on. Sorry, my unit wasn't powered up. Let's do that again. No. Ignition. There we go. Ignition setup. I have this unit programmed at 10 degrees of timing. Usually I'll mark the units. Lock spart adjust. So basically, what do you want to see on the timing light? Honestly, I, I would like to see 10 degrees so there's no confusion. I do this just to make it easier on you. So I'll come. Oops, let's go back. Sorry, early in the morning. And so I moved it down to lock spark adjust. Go down to here. Go into clear it. Let me put it at 10. Come on. Oops, no, 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 no. Yes, I'm human. There we go. I'm going to click it in so it, boink, sent to ECU. Now, come down to lock set timing. Doink. Click it in fire the car up you should only see 10 degrees of timing it might be scattering around because it's still idle stability control it's still going to be basically controlling the car so what i suggest doing is start the car and bring it up to roughly 2000 rpm put your timing light on your pulley and you should see 10 degrees if you do not adjust until you do see do not adjust the unit adjust your crank trigger sensor until you see 10 degrees. Now, if you're doing it and you're skipping right around one degree off, you see 11, 12 or nine, eight, we can come up here and adjust this basically and just tell it exactly where we're at. So if you see nine, then we can put it on there, but I like to try to get it. So it's right on 10 and then it's no confusion. Once that's done and you're going to come back here, you can then turn this back off, click it in. There you go. And now your timing is set. It's literally that simple. Um, once that is done, you are done. You will no longer come in here and change this. You don't have to change this 10 back to it, the locked spark adjust, just leave it there. Um, great thing about this is once it's set, you are now relying on the timing that I have programmed into the unit. All right, any questions, visit uh, phytechvdub.com or give us a call here at the shop. 714-639-4284. Have a beautiful day, everybody.